Hello, Assalamualaikum and very good morning. For today, we're going to continue our lesson on chapter 13, Theorem Pythagoras for Mathematics, Form 1. So, we go to the content for today. Okay, as you look at the screen, uh, these guys, okay, this guy is the a person who discovered the theorem Pythagoras, who built the theory, okay, within the year of 569 before Christ until 4759 before Christ. So we look at the content for today. What you're gonna learn, okay, what you're gonna learn is uh, to find out the hypotenuse sides for the right angle triangle, okay, uh, 30.1. As you all, for your information, this is the last topic for Form 1. Okay, you look at example 1 over here. Uh, uh, for each of the following, identify the hypotenuse. Okay, you look at uh, question A. Okay, as you look over here, this is the right angle triangle. And if I draw it on the paper, Okay, right angle triangles uh, must has a 90 degree angles. Okay, represented by these symbols. Okay, this box symbols indicates the 90 degree angles. Whenever you see these box symbols, it means 90 degree. So basically, for the right triangles, uh, for each angle we pre represent any letters. Okay, in this case, I take uh, A, B, and C. For theorem Pythagoras, it must cons it must involve triangles. There is no other shapes, square or uh, rhombus, parallelogram, or any other shapes. It's only involving triangles so for this 30.1 subtopics you need to identify uh, which sides is hypotenuse okay for your information okay if i write over here hypotenuse means the uh, longest lines uh, for the triangles okay if you can see over here it is clearly that you can find the long, like, longest line. Okay. Uh, another way to identify the hypotenuse is hypotenuse always at the opposite of the 90 degrees angles. In this case, I draw the arrow. So AC, okay, AC would be the hypotenuse. Okay, we look for another examples. Uh, let's say we have another shapes. Okay, for this case, we have another letter as well. We have uh, D, E, F. Okay, regardless of what letter it is, as long as you uh, understand the concept of theorem Pythagoras, the box here, okay, as I mentioned before, indicates the 90 degree. So to identify the hypotenuse, hypotenuse is always at the opposite of the 90 degree. So in this case, the hypotenuse for this triangle, right triangle is EA, ED, sorry. ED is the hypotenuse. So it's very easy and, to, and very simple to understand for this topic. Hopefully you don't have any problem. So let's move on to another examples. Uh, this is self-practice. I hope you can do it. I am using the mathematics textbooks for Malaysia government schools, secondary schools. We look for another subtopics. Since that is quite easy, we can proceed it much faster. Okay, this is the relationship between the three sides where later I will uh, explain it further. Okay, let's look at example 3. For the example 3 over here, uh, question A, 
for each of the following, calculate the value of x. The question asks you to find the unknown value of x where the other two sides are given the information. So let me draw the picture first. Okay. Uh, for this kind of right triangles, what you really need to do is to have a very meticulous attention toward the sides and uh, okay let's look at the drawing okay this is how it looks like uh, first of all before this I tell you about how to identify the hypotenuse so in this case let's draw the letter for the angles the, uh, the hypotenuse for this angle is the opposite for the 90 degrees so in this case, x is the hypotenuse. Okay, x is the hypotenuse. So how we can uh, how we can find the value for AC? Okay, for theorem Pythagoras, it has a fixed uh, relationship where hypotenuse, in this case AC, okay, AC square is equal to AB square plus bc square okay i repeat one again the relationship uh, with the hypotenuse is ac square is equal to ab square plus bc this is the uh, formula that is fixed for these right triangles so in this case uh, you just substitute the value that you know okay in this case ac square is the hypotenuse so the value of our tennis we are not know we just put x okay we put x sorry my x is look like that equal to ab ab what is the value for ab the value for ab is 12 cm okay and don't forget the square okay plus bc what is the value for bc bc is 16 cm square uh, I forget here, x should be squared as well. So we are just following the formula and just substitute the value. Okay, if you look over here, I just directly substitute the value. Um, and to calculate the unknown value x, you need to square each of the value that you have substituted. 12 square is equal to, okay, 100. 44 okay meanwhile for 16 what is the square for 16 if you don't know what is the value uh, you can use a traditional method don't now these students are really like to use calculator even it is just a very simple number okay I show you how to calculate uh, 16 square okay it is just like this 16 6 times 6 is equal to 36 1 times 6 is equal to 9 6 sorry and you plus it okay 6 plus 3 equal to 9 you cross times for each number okay 6 times 1 is equal to 6 1 times 1 is equal to 1 and then you plus all the summation all the results 9 plus 6 equal to 15 and the uh, answer would be uh, 256 256 so you're adding this value okay you write again the x step by step to ensure that you not uh, miss any number over here I'm um, try to summation the value 256 plus 144 and then what number what value that you have you get okay so the value will be um sorry 400 okay am i right okay so Let's say you get uh, 400. 
So to get this value x, you must square root the 400 value. And then you will get the x value. Okay. So using this one, okay. Let's do checking for the answers. All right. You look over here. Uh, 400 square root is equal to 20. So we go back to the writing. Um, so x value, the hypotenuse is 20. The square root 400 is 20. So the value of x we know is 20 centimeter. So this is answers for examples three. Okay, hopefully you understand what topic we learned for today and the two things that you need to remember how to find hypotenuse uh, the the tips is it is opposite uh, from the 90 degrees angles number two is to find the value of hypotenuse through the relationship hypotenuse is the square root equal to summation of two angles square okay so we see you again later and thank you very much. Bye-bye.